Well, good afternoon, folks. Double A Farms. Back for another video. It's been a couple weeks since I was able to do a video. Been busy with getting ready for Christmas and everything else, church activities, Christmas parties, gatherings, and all that kind of stuff. So I uh, finally have a little bit of time here at work to get out and do some yard work so i decided to come out here today and trim this peach tree up had it here for years tell it's pretty good size uh, hasn't been doing the greatest i trimmed it up some last year and uh, it grew quick grew right back very quickly and so i uh, decided this year i'd really trim it back so i'm gonna really take it back a good little ways and see what it does it's produce some peaches but it ain't anything we can ever eat off of the first year it produced peaches and did a great job and they were really good but ever since and we've had it here many years but it hasn't produced any edible peaches in several years so i'm gonna trim this thing back and then I'm going to put some fertilizer on it and hopefully this year it'll do a lot better. We have a, a sister tree over here. There uh, is the sister peach tree to it. And you see how I've never done anything to it and you can see what size it is compared to this one here. So uh, I don't know what happened with it. Why well, it never really done a whole lot but it just hasn't so but anyway working on trimming this up give me a pile of limbs over there i pick that up with the skid steer and the grapple and haul those off put them in a pile somewhere eventually i hope to have a little chipper and i can chip all these up and make some mulch and all that of it so yeah but anyway it's what working on this afternoon so we we'll keep working here and then we'll get this sucker trimmed up Well, we're gonna go with that. It's pretty good. It's what you want. Most of the limbs going straight up, so I'm gonna I'll sort of leave it at that. Like I said, I'll come through here and put me some so get all these limbs up. Spring hits, I'll put some fertilizer on this and see if this will do any better this year. I hope it will. So we've got 
peach tree and we've got a couple of pear trees. Pear tree did pretty good this year. So I'm gonna plant some more. Like I said, this is, this and the other little peach tree was our first trees that we ever planted. So got some turnips growing here. And, uh, raised beds, I always, like I said, I think in another video, I always like to use what I got on hand. Old refrigerators work great for raised beds, mix up your own soil. Grow about anything. Like I said, there's some turnips in there. These turnips ain't doing the greatest. It's my newest bed. That's the one I grew sweet potatoes in last year or this year. I made some sweet potatoes. Gonna eat some of them for supper tonight. So now I've got all my tires, old tractor tires, whatever. So it's a raised bed. And I was using this little cobalt saw, chainsaw. Works good. 24 volt max. Got 12 inch bar on it. It does like to stall out whenever you're going through some bigger trees, as you probably saw as I was doing the video, but uh, it is a good saw, very handy cutting limbs and doing little jobs like this. You can't beat it. And like I said, I like this little cobalt stuff. Reviewed the blower, cobalt blower in another video. So uh, anyway, I do like the little cobalt saw. It's got a little just screw mechanism type deal there that you tighten the chain with. So had this thing, I don't know, probably a couple of years now. And uh, uh, probably a year uh, I've had it. And like I said, just trimming limbs and stuff like that. It's great. And then using the pole saw, my chain did come off, but it's pretty easy. Got that screw type mechanism. You just pull the bar out and tighten it back up. So it's a, I do like this little pole saw. It's got an extension on it that you can use as well to, um, trim those limbs higher limbs and all that you might need so good little cordless stuff there i do like like i said that cobalt brand's a good brand and i do like it so a little update on this bush i can see I haven't done anything to it probably not right now gonna do anything to it i haven't had time to find the blades i found all the parts at agri supply uh they had the uh, motor or, or the gearbox they had it they had a piece that was very similar to this as well of course they've got the hydraulic hoses and all that stuff stump jumper the only thing i did not find at agri supply is the blades for this mower so and i haven't had time to check and call till i was going to call taylor pittsburgh personally just to, to do a check on it and see what i could find out about this bush hog um so right now this is at a standstill and when i get skid steer out whenever here late in a few minutes or or whenever i get it out i'm gonna go ahead and take it back to the ground may end up moving it find me a better spot just so it ain't this is where i cut the grass and all part of the yard out back here at the tractor shed and uh may uh, move this all together but right now i'm gonna this is gonna be at a standstill uh i've got it averaged up it's gonna cost about twelve hundred dollars to fix this bush hog so and i really got to weigh the the options i know that one just like this a new one gonna run you close to 10 grand for a taylor pittsburgh i'm sure you can find cheaper ones like i said when i was working on the other bush hog that i've got i found one for i think thirty nine hundred dollars um so i mean you've got a thirty nine hundred to a ten thousand and even more if you get into some of the bigger name brands of these so you know uh you have sort of weigh your options like i said 1250 but again i still I don't work, I got to find blades and, and that's sort of what kept me from buying the parts for it's because if I can't find blades, what good is the parts doing me? So, um, so like I said, I'm, I'm sort of at a standstill on, on this bush hog and, and trying to figure out what I may, may do with it right at this moment. Uh, so, um, anyway, man, if I figure something out, uh, Come back and let you know. You may watch me taking it down or, or moving it to another part or something of that nature. Uh, I may even just buy the hoses to where I can get the wheels working on it, get the 
uh, mechanism where it'll raise and lower and put the hitch on it, at least do that much to where it would be a little easier to move. So, you know, if I got to the point where I did want to um, pay the rest of the money to get the gearbox and, and everything that goes with it, then I would at least have that working. I could raise it up and have to use the skid steer to pick it up and, and that type of thing. I'd do is raise it up with the wheels and all that and put some jack stands and all under and that'd be the easiest way. So I may, may end up doing that because hoses, there's two hoses that would go on it. I think they're probably about a hundred inches long. I think they're I don't know, somewhere between 50 and $100 a piece of an agri supply, so they ain't really that bad, so, really and truthfully, so, in the scheme of it, so. But anyway, a little bush hog update for you. Another update here, this bush hog's doing well, got a lot of junk on it, been doing some bush hogging. The last time my bush hog was about a little over a week ago, and I didn't do a lick of filming whenever I was doing it, I just rode and, uh, talk to God and, and just enjoyed a couple hours on the tractor so but this bush out here is doing good and I got a little fuel issue or something with the Kubota um, so I got to work on it see what's going on with it I, I don't know if it's some junk in the tank junk in the line I changed the fuel filter on it clean the fuel filter out I've put some uh, fuel injector cleaner in it as well so um, me and Dee Dee's going to get out here and think next week one day and, and uh, see what we can do with it and, and get to get it running back right like it's supposed to be. So a little late date on that. Like I said, this bush hog's doing pretty good now after we did the repairs on, uh, the internal repairs on it. It's, it's running well and doing well. So Super C here, I got the gas tank off of it. Um, Got it off and bought some cleaner uh, and have got the cleaner in it and it's been soaking now hmm, four days, I guess. There's the gas tank for it. I sort of got it turned over. Trying to get all aspects of it, but I ain't going to be able to do it because the gas cap can't get nothing on the gas cap to keep the gas cap tight enough. I put tape, duct tape on it, but it ain't holding the liquid in. So I might do some swishing around it and see how clean I can get to get it. Hopefully I'll uh, possibly about a weekend or something and get this, this gas tank finished cleaning it up and get all that and get the super seat back together as well. So... And then the uh, 130 here, I actually had a little fuel leak on it with the, with the line here. I had a leak and it was coming out right here. The fitting wasn't tight enough. So I went in and found out well, that was the issue. So I come out here the other day and actually took that off and uh, fixed that problem. I took both the fitting and uh, this fitting here. Took both of those out clean them up some and then I stuck them back in cut the gas on you know problem so i'm gonna be doing a video here before too long window 130 gonna do some some fall plot tillage right here in the little garden spot i'm gonna till up the um garden with the three disc turn plow so uh, that'll be coming up here for for too long so i'm gonna try to do a Hadn't started the old pony or the cub up in a while, so I'm gonna probably do a little uh, will it start video on these two. Let them run a little bit. I need to need to run both of them. Hadn't run them since summertime, so need to crank them up and let them run a little bit here um, before too long. So fixing to have Christmas break coming up in about a about a week. So. I'll be able to get some things done. I'm going to actually work on our corral out here. I may video a little bit of that. Not sure. The old corral right there. I'm actually going to fence that area in so I can move our donkey and put him over there. I got my fence wiring off of that. So I may do some video of me uh, putting that fence up and getting that all situated so we can get the donkey moved and put him in a little bigger area. So 
But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna be doing several different things during my, my Christmas break from school. A little time off, well needed, so that's for certain. So anyway, I thought I'd do a little quick video for y'all this evening. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, hope everybody's getting the Christmas shopping done. And we're about done, or pretty much am done with ours. So just got to finish wrapping up some presents, have some Christmas parties and gatherings. Got my youth Christmas party tomorrow at church. So uh, things are going well. And, and uh, looking forward to spending some time with family and friends here in the coming week with uh, the celebration of our savior jesus christ so um looking forward to that so again hope everybody's doing well god bless each and every one of you thanks for watching please like share uh, and subscribe please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video talk at you later